Workaholic friends, today I'm going to be doing a golden and red ocean. I made a few mistakes and I'm going to be showing you how I fixed those. We're going to do an experiment here. We're just adding our shore here. I hated how this was looking so I proceeded to dump off as much paint as possible and decided to start over. I decided to just do some flip cups with the paints that I already had mixed. And this is just one of the many mistakes that happened with this piece. I wanted to show you my attempts at fixing all of these mistakes because I wanted you guys to know that we as artists don't always have a flawless process and we do have our fails and sometimes we have to think about how to fix those fails sometimes we can sometimes we can't sometimes we just have to throw our piece in the garbage and start all over and this is a perfect example of a piece that had so many mistakes that I really wanted to just give up. This was supposed to be more of a golden ocean with just a few accents of red, but as you can see, this was turning into a pink ocean. And the main issue here was that I was using primary elements with my tube paints. And at that time, I didn't know that primary elements would bleed into my other colors to form a tertiary color. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like that primary elements do this because it works out great for geodes. However, this was not what I was going for in this painting. I decided to just give up on the idea of having a golden ocean because clearly this was not going to work out. I was just going to be left with lots of pink, lots of red, and very little gold here and there. So. I just decided to leave it, let it dry, and this is how it looked while the paint was still wet. I let it sit, let it dry, and decided to embellish it the next day. Now here's another huge mistake that I did with this piece, but keep in mind that this was before I even knew how to use the primary elements from color art. So I didn't know that these uh, primary element pigments would bleed into my other paints and it would bleed into my varnish as well if I didn't seal it correctly. So here you're going to see that. I'm trying to glue my uh, all of these crystals with the triart liquid glass onto my piece and I'm adding a little bit of triart liquid glass in that sand area because I wanted to add some uh, crushed glass in that area as well to give it a little bit of sparkle 
But what I didn't anticipate was that the pigment, and there you see it, that primary element pigment that I added to that paint was starting to bleed into my Tri-Art liquid glass and it started to look like a yellow pea color. So I tried to hide this ugly yellow color with some gold glitter and it wasn't really working out. It was just looking like I had dumped a little bit of uh, dirt on my painting. So uh, yeah, I was just losing hope and I just didn't know how to hide that yellow color. So what I did was I just let it dry and decided to start all over the next day. The next day, I just painted that whole sand area with some tan acrylic paint and decided to start embellishing it all over again. I added a coat of Triart liquid glass again. This time, this top coat of uh, acrylic paint didn't have any primary element pigments in it, so I wasn't scared of that paint bleeding any color into my varnish. Then I started adding some white sand to cover that paint and give my painting a little bit of texture. Now you can see that my clear crystals that were on that edge also turned yellow. So I had to cover those with some mirror crushed glass. Now here are the final results of this piece. I did have to add a little bit of gold on that edge of the crystals to hide the yellow that was seeping through. And I hope I was able to at least minimize the mistakes. I would love to hear your thoughts on this painting. And if you think that my attempts at fixing all these mistakes were successful. of different colors and mixtures so um, this is just black okay from artist loft and that's just mixed with um, floral and water I did a base of white right now and um, then I have red which is basically naphthol crimson from Liquitex basics mixed with some of this primary elements color which is called Venetian Red. Um, everything will be listed in the description box below. Okay, now we also have uh, these two gold colors. So they're different golds. Basically one is old gold from Artist Loft and the other one is 14 karat gold from Folk Art. All of these paint mixtures are basically just the paints and floral and water. Now these two are a little bit more complicated. This is um, going to be used for the sand. This is white from Artist Loft mixed in with 
a little bit of butter toffee from Primary Elements, a little bit of marmalade from Primary Elements as well to give it a little bit of a yellowy, orangey um, look. But then I added also a little bit of burnt umber because it was a little bit too yellow for me. So just to tone it down a little and make it more of an earthy tone. And I also added abalon, abalone, abalone, I don't know how to say that word, abalone shell. This is going to be used for the ocean. So it's an off-white color. And this is basically also white from Artist Loft, mostly white with a lot of um, gold sparkle and Avalon shell and a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of burnt umber. Mm -hmm. 